we're over here on our Moon River cabin. This is actually a, a pretty interesting project. We actually have a boathouse and uh, with a marine railway accessing the Moon River on the bottom with a cabin on top. The one thing you'll notice probably right away about this project, the foundation is huge. And uh, with the engineer on this project, we work to try to understand, and, and this, is, this is kind of funny to say, but we work to understand the buoyancy of this, this building. And we were actually worried about the frost heaving the whole building up, especially with our proximity with the water here. The water, um, our floor, if you look over on the one side there, you'll see the door going into the lower level. Our floor is right around that level. But, you know, we're really concerned with the height of the water, and I would say, at the worst, the water would probably be over top of the door, but it's just it's just one of those decisions we made during the design process that, you know, it was a bit of a risk. This is obviously all concrete, and so it is a very strong, durable building, so that won't really be an issue, but it's just, you know, what a big foundation, right? So, so down here at the lake side of our building, you can really see the severity of the problem. Our footings are actually pretty much at the level of the water. Uh, Vertex Custom Carpentry is the contractor on this project. They work closely with their, their concrete contractor to make sure the foundations were strong and in place before the water was here. So the foundations were poured and everything in place. And uh, you'll see in a minute too, there's actually some holes that we purposely put through the foundation to allow water to come in and out of the space. So we're just moved a little bit down the front of our building here. As you can see, this is going to be the garage door area for our, our boathouse. And this is an on land boat, so a little bit different than what we typically do. But uh, the floor right now, as I said before, it'll roughly be uh, a little bit higher than average flood, but probably a little bit lower than the extreme flood. So I think we're kind of in a sweet spot. Our client here, if there is a flood situation, would likely just open the door and let the water flow in and out. And again, since this is concrete, it's very durable, it's not really going to be an issue. And so that's kind of a trade-off we made with building this, uh, with, or with working through the design and the construction process of this. So I think we've actually set it at a pretty good height where the building will, you know, field most of those different conditions. So. On this side of our project, we have these really massive columns, and this is gonna be holding a deck. And again, our, our solution here was maybe a little bit overkill, but our goal was to try to make sure this foundation and the foundation for the deck will stand the test in time. And so you can also see we've connected all these foundations and Vertex work, work with our engineer and the uh, concrete contractor to come up with a really good system here for, to hold this deck um, area. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more. Um, again, shout out to the Vertex House and Carpentry, our, our engineer on this project, and the concrete contractor for the amazing progress so far. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos on this project, so stay tuned for more.